The Plato Method takes your audience's brain and... Everything that's ever happened to you has led you here. On one fated day, I went to the local cinema and watched the Ashton Kutcher epic, The Butterfly Effect. Although the movie couldn't itself be called a masterpiece alongside the likes of Jaws or Goodfellas, for example, it was the first moment I spotted the Plato method and it changed the way in which I experienced movies forever. Plato was one of the greatest philosophers in history. Born in Athens about 428 BC, so it's been a minute. And much of what we think now in philosophy descends from his theories. BAM! History! Given that philosophy is the study of the fundamental nature of knowledge, reality and existence, it tends to be rich with difficult questions. And even more confusingly, many of those questions have no real answers. It is the philosophical question of your story that will have your audience thinking about your film for days after the lights have come up. A great example of this is Bullet Train. This film has a terrific philosophical question which colours the entire film. Does fate exist? So what better way to explore this question than to have an ensemble of crack assassins all on a high-speed train hurtling towards the deadliest gangster in the entire world? <laughs> to start off, we meet an assassin with the code name Ladybird which literally means good luck in many cultures around the world, and luck is defined as success or failure brought about by chance rather than one's own actions. Fate? Ladybird starts the film believing he has the worst of luck. During each flashback, Ladybird describes the situation as if he had terrible luck in that moment. You don't have bad luck. Really? However, by the end of the film, he has learned that luck is all about perspective, and that in fact, he is incredibly lucky. How do you know it's a bad thing? Huh? So David has shown us his opinion, but that can come across very preachy if there is no balance. He has avoided this by having other characters in secondary plots, each exploring their own perspective on the question, does fate exist? Therefore, in Bullet Train, we have the old man who believes entirely that he is fated to meet the White Death again to get his revenge. Our paths were distant to return to each other. You have the prince who believes she is always lucky. I knew my luck would rub off on you. You have the twins who don't believe in fate at all. You look like every white harmless man I've ever seen. Okay. And you have the white death who believes in controlling his own fate. If you do not control your fate, it will control you. Mm. Each character's belief system on fate puts them in direct conflict at various points in the movie. So back to that Ashton Kutcher epic, The Butterfly Effect. The philosophical question of The Butterfly Effect was, does loving someone mean you need to be with them? This question rocked me to my core, as it was the first time I saw the idea of love conveyed through this question. And, well, spoiler alert, Ashton Kutcher realizes that the only way to protect the woman he loves is to push her away. I'm not gonna lie, I had the biggest frog in my throat at the end of this movie. So done right, the Plato method can cause your audience to feel incredible emotions or even be convinced by your ideas, leaving a lasting impression in their minds long after the credits have rolled.